hello guys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel so yesterday we did take a sell trade on volatility 10 index and a lot of my people a lot of my students have been asking me sir why did you decide to take a sell trade while this market was moving on an uptrend and we were expecting this market to continue buying why did you take a sell entry on an uptrend market now let me give you a simple conference okay let me teach you on this video the simplest strategy that if you stick to it and used to it you will become a future forex millionaire just like me so i want you to use this video and learn attentively from a to z so the first thing is that you have to do is always start on the highest time frame. Why? Because on the highest time frame, it is on that time frame where you will get a bias of the general outline of that market. So let me start with the four, 24 hours time frame. Let me start with the daily time frame so that we can see exactly where this market uh, bias is. And on the daily time frame, you can see, you can clearly see that this market has been moving on a downtrend. How? The market is moving on a downtrend that's the next question that you should ask yourself because if you know how the market moves in a downtrend then it is easier easiest for you to be able to predict its next movement right now we know on a downtrend market the market always moves providing you with series of lower lows and lower highs lower low lower high, lower low lower high lower low lower high this is how the market moves in a downtrend so and that's how the market has been moving uh, for this case almost the of the whole of that last year the market has just been moving and providing a series of lower lows and lower highs just like this so you can see after the market provided you with the newest low right here it came to retest it to this broken structure right here so those guys who were answer or were asking me sir why did you decide to trade this is the first conference that you should know the market is moving in series of higher highs and higher low, lower lows and lower highs excuse me guys so why should you buy while the market is on an uptrend do you see the do you see why it is very important for you to start doing your analysis on the highest time frame is just for these cases because if the highest time frame for this case the daily is telling that this market is going to be selling since the market is on a downtrend then why should you decide to buy while the market is on a downtrend so most of the losses you guys are just i can say you just i'll just self-centered you just decide to keep losing forex because the market is clearly telling you it is on a downtrend why should you buy while the market is on a downtrend but of course after identifying these kinds of the general outline you simply cannot enter your trades right here for this case let's say you enter your, your trade like here your stop loss above right here and you're expecting the market to come and break this broken uh this the newest low so that the market can continue this downtrend movement but this it's just unwise you cannot enter your trades on the daily time frame the daily time frame just gives you the general outline okay of this market where it is expected to go so after noticing that this market is coming to retest to this level right here what we said okay what if the market breaks past above this level and continue breaking this structure and finally the new the start of the new uptrend movement how can you for sure that this market is going to turn right here that was the important question that we asked yourself now i'm going to teach you in this video okay don't worry i'm going to teach you in this video remember at forex clubhouse we keep trading simple no rubbish right here so let us go to the one hour time frame the one hour time frame is the time frame that will give you a conference if you are to enter into this trade uh, or not for selling or you should just keep going to move and break the structure so that you can keep riding the market to the uptrend direction now we can see the way this market was retesting towards this red vein that we did marked on the daily time frame okay we needed we needed a conference that should show us okay currently the market will sell on this level so you can see the way this market was approaching to uh, our marked level okay providing you a series of calls of higher highs and higher lows since the market was moving upwardly so what made us get into this trade was the break of this uptrend markets higher low right here why because this showed us that this okay this market that was moving on an uptrend can never 
proceed any further because the market has already broken the market's uh, higher low right here and this shows you that this market okay has already broken this uptrend movement this minor uptrend movement so that is the one of the concept that you should know and you should have it in the back of your head okay so those guys in my telegram group and by the way the link to that telegram group can be found in the description below if you want to get be getting these entries and if you want to uh get more updates on forex trading that will help you grow in this industry i would suggest i would strongly suggest that you join that telegram link whose link can be found in the description below so after the market broke this structure what it did it came back to our entry right here it came back to our entry right here and we entered into this trade logically but that does not mean that okay with the our stop loss could have been so huge no our stop loss was just this way on this entry right here our, our expected take profit is around this level right here and our stop loss was very minimum to this level right here aiming for this newest low right here you can see this market was moving on series of lower low lower high okay so this is the must is the our farthest deviation point that we were expecting and the market uh this some kind uh, okay we were expecting to be stopped out right here but as you can see until right now we are on a risk reward risk reward ratio of 8.94 so this is one of the concepts that you should know them i've met a lot of traders who say okay i only trade using a ratio of one ratio three like okay if i risk ten dollars and the market goes to thirty dollars then i'm going to exit in that trade no the only way for you to exit a trade is logically so we expect the market to come to at least to at very least to at very least this point right here okay to at very least this point right here before actually deciding to uh to buy or to do whatsoever in this market okay so what you can see right here is just a simple concept that we used is that hard no why are well, this concept new to traders no so why do traders keep losing because they keep trading rubbish i always say to all of my students always keep trading as simple as possible you can see here i have no my chart it is very clean and still we were able to get this entry no fibonacci is here no uh, no those wave forms i don't know what they're called no moving averages no whatsoever no indicators just pure price action so guys and girls i wish you all the best and i hope this video has helped you in one way or another please do not forget to subscribe to this channel do not forget to like this video and i wish you the best in the trading happy trading day bye bye